Pleased to be joined by Edmonton Oil Kings defenseman and Doc Seaman Memorial Trophy winner, Ethan Peters. Ethan, how does this award feel for you? I mean, yeah, it's a, it's a really special achievement and it was a, a pretty exciting day for me and my family. Uh, a lot of great people have won it over the years, so to, just to join that company, I'm pretty honored and humbled and I'm just really blessed to have been able to receive it this year. For sure. And this isn't the first time you've been recognized for something like this in the 2018-19 season. Uh, you won the Scholastic Player of the Year for the CSSHL in the U16 division. Um, how does it feel to be recognized for something like this year in and year out? I mean, yeah, academics is always something I've prioritized over the years, and uh, it's just largely a testament to the, the fantastic people I've had the pleasure of working with over the last couple of years. And just being in Edmonton this last year has just really helped me grow as a person and in my academics. And you speak about the Edmonton Oil Kings. How was that like for your first WHL season playing with them, such a, a dominant team, and maybe some things that you learned along the way? Yeah, I thought the I thought the season went really well. You know, the first couple of games was just getting into the league, getting feel for the pace and the play. And I thought things just kept getting better as the season moved on and got more comfortable. But uh, obviously, being on a really successful team with great coaching, great great coaching, I was really fortunate. And uh, a lot of veteran guys helped out. We had a couple of rookies, so we really helped out us younger guys. And we had a pretty tight knit group, so it was uh, definitely a learning year. And really excited to come back for next year. For sure. And in terms of off the ice, uh, you know, it's your first year in the WHL, obviously a huge adjustment both on and off the ice. What were some of the adjustments that you had to make compared to some of the past years? Uh, guys are a lot stronger. You know, everyone's big in this league. There's a lot of 19, 20 year old guys who are just bigger than you. Harder on pucks is uh, definitely something I first noticed compared to playing midget. And then just uh, just the everyday life, you know, you're living at the rink a lot. You got a lot of putting in time, putting in the practice, which is it was awesome. But it's uh, definitely been an adjustment. For sure. And personally, you were ranked by the Central Scouting in this past list. How does that feel as an undrafted Western Hockey League player to be recognized for your on-ice achievements? Yeah, it was, uh, it was a pretty exciting day again. But uh, just to be ranked, you know, it was a really incredible honor. and. Uh, was really humbled to have included, you know, just being with such a first class organization in the Oil Kings with great coaches and teammates has helped out a lot. And uh, just going to take it one day at a time and just really excited to see what happens in the years to come. And, and lastly, there's going to be some kids coming up through the Western Hockey League, of course. What are some, what's some advice that you can give them on how to balance the on and off the ice? Uh, just put in the work for everything you do. You know, school is something that uh, is just I've always prioritized and I think it's something if you put the work in as much as you do with hockey, it's something you can uh, do great in and achieve in and just put in the work. Awesome. Well, Ethan, congratulations on winning the Doc Seaman Memorial Trophy and we look forward to seeing the rest of your Western Hockey League career. Thank you so much.